Come on, we're going to go ahead and get started. So if you're not uh, lining up because you're about to give your madness session, then uh, you should be working towards a seat. One quick reminder, yesterday I think you all figured out the, the dance between the various, the learning theater and Everett Lounge and lunch. We're going to do that dance again today. Um, please try to use the, the, the ticket you have to decide when you're going to go to lunch. Feel free to trade though. Make sure you get a chance to check out all these amazing presentations. There's lots of good ones. I'm gonna, by the way, I'm going to stand here, and I'm going to keep time, and I'm going like to kind of hold my clock over to you guys so you can see your time. And when you're done, I'm going to press the button, like really aggressively. No, I probably won't do it aggressively. Um, but just try to keep to your 30 seconds, OK? Hi, I'm Kristen Searle from Utah State. I'm one of the track chairs for demos, along with my colleague, Colby Toffel grail who's hiding over here. Um, we had an awesome, awesome set of demos um, submitted this year, and it was really hard to choose, um, which means that the ones you're going to see today are really just amazing projects. They're a really nice mix of countries, different types of making activities, um, researchers, and practitioners. So we hope that you will join us in the learning theater right after this. Okay, debugging again um, for the ones who are at the workshop today morning. Uh, this is, yay, <laughs> thank you. Uh, in this demo, we are actually talking a little more about the debug it, uh, that is the buggy projects that we designed uh, in the context of electronic textiles. Um, to look at what, how exactly that would reveal uh, students' computational thinking and reasoning uh, in these authentic contexts of debugging. So we have three versions of debuggets that we are going to be demoing. Uh, so if you want to meet either Fluffy the unicorn on the elephant, uh, just visit us. Thank you. Great. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think it's like Your time's up. Hello, we are Tatiana and Silvana. We are from Brazil. Have you ever thought about how inside kids learn to read and write? Or students have? Uh, unfortunately, they are not here, and we are not that cute. But <laughs> together, we developed a simple but amazing game, the vowel, the Braille's vowel game. Um, the most important thing about it is how such young kids had the empathy for the others and created, with our help, of course, uh, an interactive game that aims to remove the learning barriers. So come and play with us. Thank you Hello. I'm Angela Lombardo from Italy, and if you, uh, if you think that kids have the right to create everything they want with uh, a robotic kids, not just a toy car, and you are interested in designing a learning, uh, learning experience that apply constructionism to uh, those kind of things, please join me at the poster session and we will talk about it. Thank you. Hello, good afternoon. Uh, we are losing species a thousand to 10,000 times um, more than its natural extinction rate. Uh, literally dozens of species are extinct every day in the world. Diversity is important not only by their beauty, but by the role it plays. Uh, each, marvelous, each marvelous living creature that shares the world with us has its importance. If you wanna know more about them, and create a machine inspired by these species attributes and even by their design, come to the Any Machines demo and support the idea that emerged from, emerged from a biologist and two designers drinking beer, beer in the wide streets of Sao Paulo, Brazil. We are Any Machines. Thank you. Hi, I'm Gina Greer, and uh, I teach 
people how to teach music. And one of the things I try to do is um, get my students to understand how to use technology to engage their students in learning and making music. So the first thing we do is through the Makey Makey and Scratch, we turn them into human synthesizers. And then the next thing we do is we give them projects to explore. So what I'm going to show you today are some projects we've done exploring the link between technology, literacy, and music. Come join me. We are the Champaign-Urbana Community Fab Lab, and we partner with middle schools, public libraries, and after-school programs to work with youth of a variety of ages. Uh, we found that youth out in the community can offer us a lot, that we can learn different kinds of more culturally appropriate and relevant uh, materials. So we've got some demos to show you that are iterative, starting with Arduinos, and like the kids know already about Arduino and, and a, a design, but they make uh, light up signs with NeoPixels, then move on to lithophanes, which are 3D printed pictures, um, and then it even can scale to higher level, university level classes.